know why does white step from head to toe, but we all have real big gun personalities. I'll review all of those things you asked for me. Here's a story of what we do. Anytime we're here, Just sit back, relax, and have yourself a beer. Tune in and have a big old cup of cheer. I've been spinning back for most two even years. Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, we have the, today you have the Rhino. We're going to look at a beer from the Blue Elephant. Yeah, that's right. Blue Elephant. What do we have here? Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce looks like it was uh, canned in February, February 24th, and it's 4.9% alcohol. Got the, uh, what the fuck, uh, Turtle Island, yeah, the Turtle Island glass. So Blue Elephant is a brew pub uh, in Simcoe. They have a really intriguing menu. It's a, it, it ranges from Thai food all the way to just burgers and pub fare. It's an intriguing menu. Uh, very clear. I can see the camera from here. Uh, golden colored, bright white head. Basic, your basic, uh, basic beer color. Best way to say it, basic beer color. Uh, so yeah, they have a really intriguing menu. And they have a whole whack of beers. They had 11 different beers to choose from. Uh, I picked up two of each beer. I uh, shipped some away. I gave some to my, uh, my uh, father-in-law. And I reviewed one of each of them. This is... Uh, I, I have two left after this one. Uh, this is going to be a time where I talk about this. So of the 11 beers, I've tried 10 of them now. I have actually tried this one before. I tried this one on BDU. Um, I don't normally go into a beer knowing what it tastes like. Uh, but this time, I, I needed some beers for BDU and they were sitting there so I grabbed a couple. And I've, I have tried Awesome Sauce, which is apparently an IPA. Uh, I have tried it before. And it well an IPA according to uh, Untapped, which means it could be anything because if the Blue Elephant didn't put it up, anyone could have wrote anything. Uh, so of the ten of the eleven beers I've had, of those ten, six have been butter bombs, uh, full of diacetyl, and four have been good beers. Um, unfortunately this is not the 11th, so I don't know if it's going to be 7 and 4, but, uh, the way it's going, I'm going to assume it will be. Let's sniff this out. 
Actually, you know what? Okay, no, it's there. I was gonna say, I, uh, sniffing it from the glass, when I had this on BDU, it was, it was full-on diacetyl. And sniffing it from the glass, it just kind of smells... Kind of smells like soapy sink water, to be honest with you. Um, but as soon as I put my nose up to the can, the diacetyl hit me. Um, let's try it. Cheers. Okay. So strangely... They're both canned. They both were treated the same when I had them. They both should have been treated the same when they had them. Um, but this version, this can of awesome sauce, which was canned on the exact same day according to the stamp on the front, has a lot less butter flavor to it. Uh, it, has, it doesn't have much flavor at all to it, but it has a lot less butter flavor to it. I mean, there is still a tiny touch of the uh, diacetyl, but it's very, very minute compared to the original one I had, which was pure on uh, movie theater popcorn butter. And though this one doesn't smell all that good, it doesn't taste bad. I mean, in, in a long run of beers, this would probably remind me more of, say, a... An Alexander Keith's One Hop Ale, in that it has a hoppy flavor, but it has almost nothing other than that. It has a, a little bit of sweetness up at the forefront, then you get that tiny touch of butteriness, then it fades into a uh, a slight uh, a slight dry graininess, which then goes into a English style dry slash piney uh, hop profile. All in all, when you take the butter down from where it was before, this is actually a very drinkable beer. I actually quite enjoy that. To be honest with you, I really do enjoy that. It's quite a uh, you know what that that fucks with my mind that it was so buttery the first time I had it and now it's like this that really fucks with my mind um, there is still the butteriness to it so I'm still gonna keep it at six and four as of right now but this is much better than when I first had it do I think the name Awesome Sauce really applies to it? No, not for myself. But I, I could actually drink this. Um, I would actually give that a 7 out of 10. I would actually buy that because the butter flavor in this can is low enough that it doesn't bother me. However, I would put an asterisk beside that and say, what the fuck is going on? That Because normally a batch of beer is a batch of beer. You don't normally find two cans that came from the exact same batch that were canned on the exact same day that came from the exact same fridge traveling home in the exact same way being treated the exact same way when they got home being so different um yeah it's a drinkable beer i can't complain about it i'm i'm just surprised i'm very surprised about the change in flavor thank you guys au revoir au biento See you soon. Bye-bye.